Hi and welcome to the Studio Marco Primo. Today I'm asking you to help me resolve the little bug that I have with Magic Simplitude Pro X6. Um, it is a minor thing. I found a workaround. I will show you it how it works. And if you have any idea what can cause that, what can fix it, let me know in the comments. Let's dive in. So I made many search, I did a lot of tests, I even changed the order of my word clock uh, path, and still there's a little bug that happens with Simplitude Pro X6, uh, sometimes, not always, when I record there is some vertical lines that appears in the waveform of the recording, and this is not something that you can hear, that it does not impact the quality, it does not do anything else than if you use the normalize button that will change the volume, it's not really uh, processing the file, but just evaluating uh, the level and then put it up. Since those uh, vertical lines are there, the volume just shut down. Um, and if we process uh, the audio waveform again, so redoing the image, then the problem does not occur. So let's check it on the computer. All right, we're going to start with uh, some recordings. So this is a test recording to show um, the little bug that I have. At some point in the recording, we can see some uh, vertical lines like this one that just appeared and um, they actually don't make any noise when you play back but um, it makes some problems when you try to do some other stuff so uh, let's check it out i'm gonna play so you can hear that part i'm gonna we can see some uh, vertical lines uh, if I loop this part, there's nothing really special about it. And if we go there too, um, it may. All right. So at first, it seems that it does not matter, but there is a function in Simplitude which. Um, does some kind of uh, normalizing, but without using uh, processing of the file. So what it means is that if I push on this button, it will analyze the volume and put it near a zero dB uh, without peaking. And this is only a volume information, so the the file stays intact. Uh, but look what happens when. I do this to a file where these vertical lines appear. And if I play back. All right, it seems that those lines give some information about volume, but they don't really matter for the sound of, um, of the file. What is even more special about it is that if I select it and I ask to rebuild um, the waveform, rebuild graphic data, then it will calculate and they're not there anymore. So if I do this function again, the normalizing, there we go. So the problem isn't there anymore. I think my display is a bit too high, so that would be a better display. Um, but watch this. If I use a completely new project, um, the problem does not occur. Uh, so let's test it. So this is a test to see if uh, some other vertical lines will appear. I will let the recording go for a while. If it's too long, I'm going to speed up the, the video afterward. Maybe a bit of silence. Yep, 
Yes, it's, it really does not do it. And actually, uh, there's a lot of uh, plugins involved on this project because I used um, a template of mine. So there's a gate, there's a... And what if we deactivate everything, you say? Let's do it. I'm going to stop the recording. And I'm going to remove everything. Yes. And let's record a tiny bit again. Same input. Uh, there's no routing or anything special about it. The monitoring, I can even um, deactivate it on the other one, like this. Um, and you see there's no vertical lines. All right, we are the next day, and I'm going to test the recording again with the same project that did not exhibit those vertical lines. So nothing has, has changed, uh, inputs, outputs, uh, no more plugins on the track, nothing else. So let's try to record and see if it will keep uh, being clean or not. All right, uh, as for now, it seems to be quite fine. Oops, no, it isn't. All right, so we see that if I save the project, close everything down with, uh, of course, shutting down the computer, booting up again, um, those lines are coming back on the same project that they did not appear before. So let's uh, create a new project again. All right, we are going to remove everything uh, as effects goes. So I'm going to reset aux. I'm going to reset fx. Yeah, everything seems clean. The input is already chosen correctly. So let's hit record. Again, a test to see if those uh, vertical lines will appear. Um, it seems that they do not for now. So I'm going to keep uh, talking a bit. And then I'm going to let it go with some silence and see if they appear again. Yep, seems clean. Let's just close the project. I'm going to save it, of course. Save, close, close. Don't save. And if I try again, let's see if just closing down uh, Semplitude and opening it up, the lines are, yeah. The lines are coming back. So it does not seem to be impacted by the reboot or anything else, only closing down um, Samplitude projects, not even the old program, just the project. Those lines will be there afterward. If we want, we can test the normalize button. See here, if I do the same with this recording. Yeah, so we have signals. I'm going to let it go. And here, we don't hear anything because the normalized send the signal to minus 90. I think those are dBs, I'm not sure, <laughs> but anyway. So yeah, disturbing, not a deal breaker. Everything works fine otherwise. Um, and of course, as you saw, I have a workaround for it. Let me know in the comments if you know what it is, how it can be fixed, or if it is something that only magic can work on. 
If you did like the video, please click on the like button, consider subscribing, hit the bell to get notifications, put questions and comments in the comments, suggestions for new videos. Don't forget to go in the description of this video and click on the merch link. Maybe there's something that will appeal to you. It will help the channel grow and give you better content. So another thing to do is to share my videos. It's always a great help.